All right, this is a response video to the Dallas Cowboys show. Shout out to the Dallas Cowboys show. Y'all, please go subscribe to that man. If you haven't, he is a Dallas Cowboys YouTuber legend. Go subscribe to him. Uh, I just finished watching a video of his. Is the NFL rigged? And this is my opinion on the, on the matter. Do I think the NFL uh, is rigged like the WWE or some, some entertainment league like that? No, I do not. I believe players, they they put their blood, sweat, and tears into this. Coaches, they put their blood, sweat, and tears into this. The, the NFL is uber competitive. They play their guts out. Even when they are banged up, they can't go. Players still go out there to try to win the game. It's a testosterone-driven league. Everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to rip the other team's heart out. But... I do believe that the higher ups in the NFL, they want to push certain narratives and certain teams and they will do whatever it takes to get certain teams to the Super Bowl or deep into the playoffs. And the Cowboys are one of them. I'm not going to lie. I love my Cowboys, but I'm going to be very objective here. The Cowboys are one of those teams that the NFL wants to prop up because we are America's team and we have so much history and prestige behind us. We haven't done anything in the last 20 something years, but that doesn't mean that the NFL doesn't try its best to help us out because it does against the Detroit Lions and the Detroit Lions are always the butt of bad calls. They are. Last night they were. The, the, the Detroit Lions are one of those franchises where the NFL, they don't want to see them go anywhere because the Detroit Lions does not have a, um, a, a big fan base. The Detroit Lions have a history of futility. The Detroit Lions are not going to garner many uh, television viewers. They're not. So that's the NFL actively goes against teams that are that have a small fan base. You know, they they don't really um, tip the scales on the ratings. They don't. The NFL has it out for them. But I digress against the Detroit Lions back in the 2015, uh, 2014, 2015 season. That was a pass interference on our linebacker and they didn't call it. The Detroit Lions, I admit, got hosed in that game. I wasn't complaining because my Cowboys went on to the next round, but they got hosed in that game. If you look at Green Bay, Green Bay, they have a history of prestige. They're one of the glamour franchises. The NFL does whatever it can to prop up Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Same with New England. Same with Pittsburgh. Certain large teams get garner favor and others don't. And even teams that have a small market, if they have a marquee player like the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes, they will get calls too. It's But I will say this, in the AFC Championship game last season, when they called that offside on D. Ford, he was lining up in the neutral zone. The New England Patriots defensive front did that many times in the game, and they didn't call it. In fact, D4 did it more than once in that game, but they called it right at the end to tip the scale to the Patriots. The NFL isn't rigged per se like the, like the WWE, but they do help certain teams. It's all about views. It's all about ratings. It's all about fan bases. It's all about large market teams. If you look at if you look at all like if you look at the most successful teams in, in, in NFL history, the Patriots, East Coast, the Giants, East Coast, the, the, the Steelers, East Coast, the 49ers, West Coast, the Cowboys in the South. I, but I would say the Cowboys are more like the North than the South. The, Dal the Dallas area really doesn't fit in the South stereotype. It really doesn't. And plus, Texas is king when it comes to football. If you look at the most successful franchises in the NFL, they all, most of them 
are all among the coastlines and they just happen to have the biggest fan bases. They just happen to have larger markets. That's all I'm saying. It, the same goes for basketball. Look at the Boston Celtics. They have the most championships in NBA history. East Coast. The Lakers, second most. West Coast. Chicago. Well, they have Michael Jordan. But the thing is, they're in a big metropolitan area, the largest metropolitan area in the Midwest. These large centers, they can attract a, a lot of good players, and they also garner favor from their respected leagues. Look at the Yankees. East Coast. I'm telling you guys, it's all about ratings. It's all about who is going to earn the league mo the, the most money being in the playoffs and the championship game. That's what it is. These leagues are driven by narrative and money. So small market teams are always asked out. Always. Why do you think the Saints got pushed out? That The Saints got robbed last season because the New Orleans area is a small market for football. Los Angeles was going to garner so many more ratings, so many more views. Come on, you guys. It's not rigged per se. But the higher-ups do want certain conclusions, or they do want certain results, and they will do whatever it takes to push those results. Just listen to me. I will go on about this later, but I just want to give you guys some food for thought. Uh, again, this is a response, uh, response video to the Dallas Cowboys show. Shout out to that man. He's great. Go subscribe to him. All right, you guys, follow your boy on Instagram, Gerard John 1991. That's J-A-R-R-O-D-J-O-H-N-1991. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.